water is essential to people and the planet, but it is central to life processes. In South America, like worldwide, there are numerous water crises which include, but are not limited to drought, floods, pollution, access to drinking water, conflict by soil erosion, among others. As asserted by the Global Water Partnership 20 years ago, water crises are many times governance crises. The Global South is usually underrepresented in comparative water governance studies, a gap we are addressing through the Governawa project with the financial support from the Inter-American Institute for Global Change Research. The general objective of this project is to contribute to ecosystem service provisioning and human well being associated with water through a transdisciplinary research approach that seeks to improve anticipatory governance in South America based on the strengthening of adaptive capacities, anticipation, co creation of knowledge, and social learning. The South American Institute for Resilience and Sustainability Studies, SARAS, based in Uruguay, is leading the project in collaboration with the Institute of Energy and Environment of the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil, the Patagonian Institute for the Study of Continental Ecosystems, and the San Luis Institute of Applied Mathematics in Argentina, along with many other partners from these three South American countries and abroad. Since 2019, through Governawa, we have been investigating water crisis and water governance in six watersheds, Piracicaba, Capivari, Xundiaí, and Paraíba do Sul rivers in Brazil, Laguna del Cisne and Laguna del Sauce lakes in Uruguay, and Rio Quinto and Lower Chubut River in Argentina. Over a hundred actors have been interviewed by the team, which consists of 35 researchers of various disciplines, including 14 graduate students. The project findings indicate that water crises are complex problems caused by a combination of ecological, climate, economic, and governance factors. They are also related to land use practices and management. The case studies from Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay revealed that fragmented management among institutions responsible for environmental protection and those in charge of agricultural productivity is still a challenge, as well as centralized decision-making. The analysis of water crisis showed that they tend to trigger actions and changes, including improved monitoring of biophysical indicators, enhanced communication, among actors at multiple levels and climate change awareness, all important elements for adaptive water governance. However, reactive responses prevail, that is, after the crisis have occurred, suggesting that anticipatory capacities should be strengthened to be better prepared to deal with uncertainty and potential future crisis, and thus, we are working on this aspect in the second phase of the project. Through coordinated activities with 15 government partners and the basin committees, which are multi-stakeholder and participatory plan platforms involving government, users, and civil society, the research team has been doing important contributions to monitoring and or management of the studied watersheds in three countries. Finally, it is worthwhile mentioning the transdisciplinary approach of the project, since the research is oriented to real world problems. It integrates sources of knowledge and it involves different actors in a meaningful way through different techniques. The Governagua project could not have been possible without these close dialogue between science, policy, and society. We deeply thank all our partners to be promoting this project.